This is a quick introduction to the basics of TL term, getting up and running and getting started. Um, to start with, to create a new terminology list, on this task menu we can say, create a new terminology list. Uh, here we select the languages we want to work with. Uh, we're going to make a, so we click add language, we're going to make a quick triangle, say English, um, here in the select language, uh, just keep an eye on what it pops up here. Uh, select language, add language. Um, we're going to make this say English, French, Chinese. So we can do it for three languages. We can add more later, uh, but we're going to start with to say English, French, and Chinese. Click OK. Uh, select which fields we want. We're just going to leave it on the defaults and click OK. Uh, the next thing it'll pop up is whether or not we want user management. So yeah, you can decide if you want uh, to enable multi-user logon on the database and tracking of who edited what. Uh, we just you, that's optional. You can just skip it and say close. And there you have your first term in uh, TL term term base. Um, the um, so something to keep in mind, the, and just to understand theoretically, a TL term term base is a database of concepts. Um, so each entry that you're going to add to a TL term term base represents a concept, uh, and then a, you know, attached to each, uh, attached to that concept is the translations or terms for um, each of the languages you're working with. For the concept. Uh, so to add a new entry, we click on this new entry button in the top left. Um, and we can type, I'm going to add a entry for word continue term, and I click word. Um, right, I'll just want to quickly give an overview of the parts of the user interface here. It's created now an entry for word. I'm just going to save this. So we click and say save. Um, you'll see here it's created slots for each of the three languages you're working with. Uh, these are English term, English definition, French term, French definition, Chinese term. So here we can add the translations um, for that word. So what? Uh, sorry, my pronunciation is not good and say Chinese. Right, so here's our first trilingual uh, term entry. Um, we can optionally, optionally enter a definition if we like. Uh, to delete entries, we use this button over here, delete entry. I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, just a quick overview of the parts of the user interface. Um, this at the left here is a uh, entry list um, containing all the, um, a sorted entry list of all the entries or concepts in your database, sorted by, and yeah, in the top left, you'll see there is a drop down where we can select which language we're working with. Um, so I'm just showing on this one because it has a lot more entries. We can resort on. This is an 11 lingual South African database, the OERTB. And we can resort over here um, by selecting from this drop down um, the language we want to work with and sort on. And it'll resort those entries by the um, selected language. Um, so, yeah, if we want to resort on Chinese, it'll resort our one entry in Chinese. And in the second column here, it shows the translations for that entry in the other languages. Um, and uh, something to keep in mind, when we add a new entry, we can add a new entry, because we're adding a concept, we can add, we can add it from any language perspective. So if we want to add a French word, we can select French from the drop down, and when we say new entry, then we'll see uh, it's saying new term, French. 
So we enter a French term. Um, right. So just so that's the entry list. This is the language selector so to select the language you're sorting and working with. This area here is the attributes and tools window. And these are attributes F1 and F2. Uh, these, these F1 and F2 are actually keyboard shortcuts. So here we are a number of tools, which we're not going to go into detail now on. Uh, the main ones you need to know are F1 and F2, where you actually edit and add terms or definitions or other information. Um, the other tools here are like search and a few other things, filters. Um, it's beyond the scope of this video. This area here is called the tree view, and this is where we edit the structure of the entry. So the entry has a hierarchical structure underneath it. And we're going to use that to do tasks like um, add synonyms, say synonyms for a word. Um, and this over here is called the preview area. Uh, and this shows a kind of a, a sort of a user-friendly preview display of what the entry would look like if we were, we were to export or print it. Um, right, so uh, the main other task we may want to do is add synonyms um, that, I, that, that I just want to show how to do. Um, also keeping in mind, because an entry in a terminology database uh, represents a concept, and then we add a synonym, it's the same concept. So we add it to the same entry, and we do that in the tree view by right-clicking on the entry. And then we can select the language for which we want to add. So, so we're going to add a synonym for the Chinese. I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. So I right-clicked and I selected Add Chinese. And it added a second Chinese element here. And under F1, we now see there are two boxes here, Chinese term and a second box, Chinese term. If we enter, say, a synonym for that word, then we see it reflected like that. And uh, in the preview. And you can reorder. Uh, if you decide these should be the other way around, you can right click on any of them and use move up or move down by right clicking in the tree view, move up, reorders or move down to reorder the synonyms. Um, typically the first one will be a sort of a main synonym, like maybe the most commonly used for example. Uh, and note if we select a sort on Chinese then um, both synonyms will appear in the list of terms, but selecting it will simply take you to the same entry. So just to recap, that's our, our drop-down list where we select which languages we want to work with. So it's a save button. This is the entry list, sorted according to the selected language. New entry, delete entry, the tree view, is where we reorder things, or, or um, yeah, we can also delete synonyms by right-clicking on the synonym and saying delete. Um, and F1 and F2 uh, are where we edit attributes, um, select, and F2 would select things like part of speech or subject, but they have to be set up in the DTD, that's beyond the scope of this. Um, and yeah, the preview area, we select uh, uh, just displays a sort of user-friendly preview of um, the entry we've selected. And we can do things here like say print preview area contents and various other things. Uh, one more thing I want to mention, if we add an entry for which uh, we don't have translations in a language, uh, you'll note then it shows in the translations, the second column here with the translations, it shows a little blank, comma, blank, meaning it doesn't have a translation in French yet or in Chinese. And if we sort on French or sort on Chinese, what will happen to that entry is it will appear in the entry list, but it will display 
has a little double quotes empty string meaning the French is not yet entered um, and it will sort all these cases to the top of the entry list and this is actually quite convenient because if we want to see which terms have not been translated into a particular language we can simply look at the top of the entry list to to quickly find them they're the ones that look like that um, and you'll see it shows their dog that's the entry dog so we can see in the second column here that's here dog entry one last thing that little asterisk and shows there again and yeah just means there's unsaved changes um, and we can just save them by clicking there or using file save you know normal yeah that's basically the <laughs> crash course sort of basics of the RTL term